So, here they are. These are the most famous lemurs on the planet. They sing very well, they are sneaky, they live in groups, and some of them are a bit dumb. This is their leader, King Julian, who not only succeeded in driving out the hyenas, but also in introducing the lemurs to the world. Join me now to learn some interesting information about the lemurs in Julian's kingdom. Madagascar is the only place lemurs naturally call home. Located 250 miles off the east coast of Africa is the island of Madagascar, the fourth largest island in the world and the sole natural habitat of all the world's wild lemurs. There are enough rare animal species on this archipelago to put major national parks around the world to shame. When you come to the beaches of Madagascar, a familiar image you can see is lemurs sunbathing all over the island. And lemurs actually do spend a third of their lives just basking in the sun. Well, I feel like I might have been a lemur in a past life, as I too could see myself laying out in the sun like that for the rest of my life. You can see lemurs on Madagascar sitting with their arms outstretched like they're sun worshipping. And just in case you didn't know, a group of ring-tailed lemurs is called a troop, although I'm personally quite fond of referring to them as a ring of ring-tailed lemurs. Lemurs have a female-dominant society. Well, your favorite lemur might be Mort, or Maurice, or if you're like me, King Julian. Now remember how afraid King Julian was of Alex the Lion? Ooh yeah! Run for your life! <laughs> Well, in reality, Julian should have actually been more concerned about the female lemurs around him. Lemurs are a matrilineal species, and their groups are led by a dominant female. This is actually quite rare for mammals, where usually it's the strongest, healthiest male who runs things. But the female fox lemur is quite powerful. She competes for food from the males, chases the males out of their sleeping places, and even shows aggression. Okay, beautiful girl, you have the right to do what you want. Lemurs are legendary. The lemur is one of the most important symbols in Malagasy culture. They can be the protagonists of ancient folktales, which tell stories about the gods, demons, taboos, and traditions of the Malagasy people and are passed down from generation to generation. In Malagasy culture, there are two very important types of lemurs, the Indri and the Ai. Indri lemurs are said to hold the souls of the dead ancestors of the Malagasy people. When a person dies, their soul becomes a lemur, until one day they are resurrected. Come back, baby! <laughs> because of this, people are not allowed to hunt, kill, or eat Indri lemurs. Meanwhile, the Ai's are the opposite. They are considered to be the incarnation of the devil and will bring bad luck to anyone who sees them. Now you know why Maurice is the unluckiest guy in the Madagascar movie. Some of you might be wondering, are ring-tailed lemurs monkeys? Well, it's easy to mistake lemurs with monkeys. They have many things in common. Both belong to the primate order, which is made up of monkeys, prosimians, and apes. But lemurs are prosimians, which is a word that means before monkeys. Basically, all of the monkeys we see today evolved from creatures similar to lemurs. As crucial seed dispersers, lemurs are the creators of the forest. Do you know how many flowers can a bee pollinate each year? Don't ask me, because I'm not sure of the answer either. But I can say for sure that bees help spread a fair bit of pollen around. Pollen helps a lot of plants to pollinate, and lemurs actually play a similar role. The lemur's main diet consists of leaves and fruits. And, by chance, lemurs help disperse seeds throughout their ecosystem. This is because seeds get stuck on the fur of individual lemurs as they search for fruits and nectar. Then they pass this pollen and seeds onto other flowers as they move past them. 
Sometimes, seeds even get dispersed to new areas because when lemurs eat fruit, the seed passes through their digestive system and then comes out in their poop. Many endemic flowering plants and tree species are highly dependent on lemur species, such as ruffed lemurs, to disperse their seeds. Besides humans, lemurs are the only primates that have blue eyes. You can see many people and animals with blue eyes, but not that many lemurs. Primates have a variety of eye shapes and colors, but most have black eyes, and blue irises are actually very rare in mammals. But the sclater lemur, also called the blue-eyed black lemur, is a lemur that actually has naturally blue eyes. The blue-eyed black lemur is one of the species on the IUCN red list and is classified as critically endangered. AEECL, which is an organization that's part of the Lemur Conservation Network, supports conservation efforts for the blue-eyed black lemur both in their natural habitats and in zoos. Lemurs self-medicate, and some get high off millipedes. Lemurs have quite a magical ability. They can use the forest to heal themselves. Red-faced brown lemurs bite millipedes because, well, they get high from it. When the millipedes are bitten, they release a toxic secretion that has a narcotic effect on the lemurs and causes them to salivate profusely. Chewing on millipedes and swallowing little bits of this toxin also helps lemurs get rid of gastrointestinal parasites in what sounds like some kind of deworming ritual for them. Wow, I guess who needs a pharmacy when you live in the woods? But don't be fooled into trying millipedes yourself, though, if you're looking for a good time. What's good for the lemurs might not be so good for you. Some lemurs sing a cappella. Others communicate with stink fights. If you wonder why the Indri lemur is said to hold the souls of the Malagasy's dead ancestors, take a look at this wild behavior. The Indri lemurs love to sing and let their voices mix in with the melodies of nature. The Indri are actually a talented group of a cappella singers who get in sync with each other when they sing. Really does sound like they might be possessed by a bunch of dead Malagasy people who love to sing, right? But this singing actually has a practical purpose. It is one of the ways that these Indri lemurs claim and mark their territory. These lyrics are probably something along the lines of, Hey, this is my area. Find your own. However, not everyone can sing. King Julian doesn't sing, but he has a unique way of marking his territory. Ring-tailed lemurs have scent glands on their wrist and chest, which are especially useful during the breeding season. Males will use secretions from their scent glands to mark their territory, and they even lift their tails whenever they need to have a stink fight with rivals. Surely, neither you nor I want to be nearby when this war is going on. There are many things to love about lemurs, but sadly the fact that they only live on Madagascar has caused the number of lemur species to decrease significantly due to the increased human activity on the island. So, if you like the lovable lemur trio of Julian, Maurice, and Mort and enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video so we can spread the word about how cool these guys are. Okay, that's it. See you next time!